Hi, this is Tony Mike Grevin coming to you from Chicago as usual. And today we've got a fun one. It's a sovereign citizen traffic fail. Even more so than that, it's a more sovereign citizen traffic fail. It's uh, it's pretty good. The, the police officer in here really kind of trolls him, and it, it is and it's kind of enjoyable. But I still needed to consult with the elite task force to get through this video. It's just the way it was. Just want to mention that I got this from a channel called Mark Baggett. I'll put a link to that in the description below. I edited a little bit out, and if you want to see his version of it, the, the, you can find the link there. Let's do it. Sergeant Rita Lovato. And what's your, what's your ID number? What's your ID number? What's your ID number? The driver that what is your ID in number? the car was driving down Okay, the but he didn't injure anyone. There's no damaged property. You're talking ifs. There's no damaged property. And he was honking along the way to make sure safety was along the way. He did his best to ensure safety. So if you see that it's... Put it me. So, so if you see that it's been safety and that nothing happened, your discretion, you should be able to be cool. But you want to be whatever you want to be right now, that's cool. However you want to act or however you want to handle the situation. The fact of the matter is there's no damaged property or injured party. So there's no corpus delecti. He didn't do anything wrong. He didn't hurt nobody. Uh, corp uh, corpus delecti in this case is kind of funky. But if you say he's wrong because he went down that road, even though there's no signs saying that he can't go down that road, then these are all the things that we can challenge in court because there's no signs there, brother. You know, so that's that's all I got to say on that. And if you think you're gonna give me a ticket for no ticket, I'm not the operator of this automobile. I don't even call them vehicles, but I'm not the operator. And can I have your badge number, please? I just told Steve you Moore is already on is already on notice with me. I already, I already deal with Steve Moore. I'm I'm cool with your office, man. Let me know when you're ready. What? <laughs> you said you said it already. So if you said it already, I got it on here. It's okay. Uh, I was, then let me know when you're ready. Are oh, you gonna say it again? Go yeah, ahead. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'm ready. Well, your window's up, so I can't hear you. Oh, that... <laughs> of course the officer heard him. He's just trolling him, but it's funny. <laughs> okay, what do the boys have to do to get you to hit like and subscribe? It's pretty much all I have. Come on, Lovato, man. <laughs> we just now got off work. Work at United Postal Service, brother. We ain't doing nothing but going home. Ain't nobody trying to... That's important. He says he works for the U.S. Postal Service, as in the United States Postal Service. To cause any issues or nothing like that. I don't, I don't know you. I don't have any issue with you. You know, I'm just letting you know that we didn't damage nobody. We did try to make sure that we did that safely. Although you say it's wrong, I agree with that. You know, if, if that's what you're saying, I'm not going to argue with that. But there are no signs there, you know, and, uh, you know. There's no corpus delecta. There's nobody injured. So you got to see that for yourself. You got to see that he passed. Nobody was in the way. There was no uh, passengers or pedestrians walking or anything like that. So I can't even hear you until you roll down the window. Ah. <laughs> oh. So you can say that all over again because I couldn't. Okay. Well, I said that there was no. I mean, he's just trolling him. He asked him to say it all over again. This guy, obviously. He's, he's not in a hurry for whatever reason. Maybe maybe it's just going to work out at the end of the shift or whatever. He's uh, this cop. You'll you'll see he's a he's a bright guy. Uh, he's got a lot going on, but but he's doing this he's doing this just just to get to him, and it's funny. No corpus delecti, no damaged property or damaged persons out there on the road. You saw that with your own eyes. He hunked. Uh, Why are you looking over there? He hunked to ensure safety because that's where I want to look. I, I don't have to look at you with your eyes, brother. I, I look where I want to look. I'm sorry, I can't hear you whispering now. Well, <laughs> at the end of the day, Mr. Lovato, all I'm saying is we work today trying to get home, not trying to have an issue. This man doesn't make a lot of money, so all you're going to do is just cause him more and more injury and probably cause more injury to his life when he's trying to get his life better. That's all I'm as I watch this, I believe the guy doing all the talking is a, is the passenger, and he's doing this on behalf of, of the driver, and, and the guy, you know, the usual sovereign citizen nonsense, he doesn't have registration, insurance, or license. Uh, but why he chose this guy to speak to the police on his behalf, I, I, I cannot imagine. I'm saying. So, I, don't, I don't know him. I don't know nothing about his life. You see, but at the end of the day, what do you, know about you, you, you are a peace officer, right? What do you know about Are you life? a peace officer or not? Do you, do you honor you know your oath? Do you honor your oath to the, to the Constitution? Of course I do. I okay, my well, country so then you know that you're supposed to be a peace officer and you're supposed to ensure peace before anything. First and foremost, it's peace before anything. So if you can guarantee that this situation is peaceful, then you're doing your job. 
What does that have to, what do you know about him? Well, I don't know nothing about I don't know much about Gus, but I know that he's a hard worker. I work with him, we're co-workers. Uh, he gives me his rides to work. You know, um, he's, do I don't you, know, from what I know, you know he's, he's, he doesn't he's, have insurance on his car? Well, I'm not, I'm not concerned with those type of things because I don't use that stuff neither. You know so. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I'm not concerned with that because I don't use that stuff. Also, uh, r really nice way to pay back your uh, your coworker for for giving you rides by by making his traffic situation ten times worse. His car hasn't been registered since August. Hey, he doesn't have to register his car. Where is yes, it in the does. law that he has to register his car? That's not in the law. That's not the constitution. Yeah. Uh, in the California vehicle code, I'm sure. In California. Well, in, in California, in, in, in the state, in the state of California, yeah. but that's not California Republic. You guys aren't even operating. Are you from under... a different country or something? I'm from Morocco. This is Morocco. You do know that, right? I, I don't. I don't Morocco's know if you know that, but I'm letting you know. No, no, that's the kingdom over there. This the empire here, brother. Yeah, right here, Morocco Empire. No, Morocco's in West Africa. I've been to Morocco. Well, Morocco, Morocco Senegal... that's the kingdom. That's not the empire. Because you do know what an empire is. It consists of kingdoms. So who's in charge of the empire? No, no I, I can't follow what he's saying. I, I mean, he's saying kingdoms and empires. I don't I don't see a kingdom in sight anywhere. <laughs> Even in their fantasy land. I, I haven't heard them say they have a king yet. But, uh, you know, that's what he's going with. Uh, the, the geography lesson just gets better. Excuse me? Who's in, who's in charge of the empire? Yeah. Well, actually, my people are asleep. It doesn't matter who's in charge of the empire. You have me out here active being who i am myself as i have a so right to do representative of that empire because are you under the rights of under the empire? rights of indigenous people all indigenous people have rights to nationality do you not understand that or do you not know that that's international law that's what i operate are under you indigenous? international law oh yes i'm very indigenous i'm aboriginal to this land this is my home this is morocco al maghrib al aqsa i'm very indigenous <laughs> These, these are things I know, but all I'm saying is I don't want to have a debate with you about these type of things. Yeah, I'm saying is he's just trying to go home. You know, we just got off work, like right down the street. You know, so if you can give us that, I would appreciate it. I mean, you don't have to, but I'm I'm just asking. I'm give just, you what? Allow the brother some some what breathing brother? room. My brother Gus. Allow he's him some brother? breathing room. Yeah, he's my brother. Oh, I didn't know that. He's from Morocco too. He doesn't know him very well, but he's his brother. Of course, again, the, the cop is just trolling him. He know he knows the way he's using the word the, the word brother, but but he's just he's just gently sticking it to him. It's kind of fun. Well, were you born here? Yeah, I was born in California. Okay, well, you born in Morocco. You from Morocco? Uh, no, I'm not Morocco. Well, this this is not the United right. States, if that's what you're going to say. Yeah. This is not the United. No, this is North America continent, not the United States, brother. It's two different things. Oh, no, you can use semantics and try to confuse people with that, but I'm you're not going to confuse me confuse because anything. I know where I am. North America I'm in Morocco. would be Mexico, North Amer No, 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 no. Have you heard of, That's... have you heard of the Organization of American States? Do you know yes, what America, oh, yes. do you, so, so, so what is America then? The Organization of So American what is America States then? Is... North America, South America, Central America, and all the adjoining islands. The... Correct? So that's, that's, that's the Organization of American States. And you know why they have that stuff organized? So that would for be... us in, for us people that's indigenous to these lands, all these lands, so OAS for us to claim our indigenous in rights, for us to claim our rights. OAS would have an ambassador in charge. I don't care what they have in charge, but what I'm letting you know is that what you're we're playing the semantics that this it. is the United States and not North America. I don't understand. This what is not OAS the United States. This, this is North though. America. Oh, the United is States is operating on my land because you know how your ancestors got here, right? Mm -hmm. Through the Treaty of Peace and Friendship, right? Well. My, my ancestors honored yours, so I'm just asking you to honor mine. I'm not trying to have a... a, a what does my ancestors have to do with that? Well, because I'm just trying to let you know that I'm in honor with no, 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 what I, asked I know. You what my ancestors I'm in honor to, with what I know, know, and your ancestors, what ancestors came here as... Where are you from? Where, where, what's your nationality? Let me ask you that. Uh, I'm an American citizen. You're not American. I mean, do, I, do, I have to show you, do I have to show you That's American? Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah. I carry a U.S. passport. Well, not, United States is not a, not a nationality. It but, sure is. But you could be a citizen of the United States under... You uh, know. I am. Okay. I am. Okay. And I'm recognized as a citizen of the United States with a U.S. passport. Yeah. If you, an if official you, passport. If you honor in that constitution, because other than that, when you don't honor the constitution, then you're treasonous when you're not under the constitution. I'm not That's, treasonous that's how I go. But I'm, no, I'm not saying you... And when he says treasonous, he's not just talking about any treason. He's talking about capital felony treason. You are, but I'm saying no, we don't I, operate I under the Constitution. Not, not that. When people don't operate under the Constitution, that's what they operate. I'm operating under law. You know what I'm saying? So the Empire has a Constitution. Excuse me? The you, Empire you, have has you heard a Constitution. Of the, Iraqis, the Iraqis Confederacy? Have you ever heard of that? 
the what? that's where you got your, your constitution from. No, I'm asking you. Oh, no, no, does no, your I, empire I, have a constitution? Because you we, said if you don't operate under constitution. I just told you. The Iraqis, the Iraqis Confederate. The Iraqis. The Iraqis, however you want to pronounce it. But you know what I'm talking about. So you're very now. <laughs> that's one of my favorites. <laughs> He thinks he's gonna give him some knowledge about uh, about this nonsense. I don't know what this is, but but then he cr corrects his pronunciation on it. <laughs> man. Well, I've been to fifty different countries around the world. I speak six different languages. Okay. Currently. So yeah, I'm indigenous to North, South, Central America, and all the adjoining islands. As told I don't know by my about prophet, all that. you know. Never been there. So he's indigenous to North, South, Central America. <laughs> Okay. Well, hey, you have been in North, South, Central America. You've been to all, you said you've been over. You said there's no such thing as North America. No, I didn't say, I said, this is North America, not the United States. This, this is, is part the, of the continent. North yeah. America. Yeah, sure is. you have Canada it sure as well. Is. Right, right. You're right. right. We can agree on that. Right. So, you know, all I'm saying is, I know what he did, but he didn't injure anybody. You are a peace officer. What did he do? Uh, he went on the road. He went around cars on the road. I don't know. But there it know, is right there. You said that. You said, All of that for that. What? And you admitted it. What? That wow. He, that he went around some cars? Ain't that crazy. What's wrong with that? There's no sign saying that he can't. That's what wow. I'm telling you. There's Finally no sign admitted. saying he can't. Well, I got you on camera too. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I got it. Finally got it. <laughs> that is just too good. He he does. He gets an admission. That's not the driver, but still, it's a, it's a passenger. He's got it on video. And a, the, his testimony is now that he committed a traffic violation. He didn't do shit. Yeah, I meant to nothing. I didn't admit to nothing. Because I clearly said it. Right. Went around cars. There's no sign saying that he can't do that. So that's why I know the law. So at the end of the day, I'm gonna take over this case for him. Because at the end of the day, bro, you're not gonna be able to get this dude. I mean you can give him a ticket, you can do whatever. But these are the things he can challenge in court. Right. For the simple fact that there's no sign saying and he he now says he's going to take over the case for my I presume he means the driver and and I don't know I don't know in what sense unless he's an attorney which I highly doubt. <laughs> I can't do that. There's no sign saying he can't do that. There's there there's nothing telling him that he can't do that. Only just some guy that that has some authority that saw him passing by peacefully. No you got it. That's it. You don't need to post a sign. Just that guy who has some authority is a is a law enforcement officer, and you're in violation of the traffic code, and he's doing his job. It's you got it. Injuries, no damaged property. Oh, because I'm the so-called police, I can bloop. Hey, you're doing wrong. No, he's not doing wrong. He ran around some cars safely. You know what I'm saying? Period. Now you can say what you want to say about that or feel how you want to feel, but the fact of the matter is, he didn't do nothing wrong. I, I'm going to say what I want to say about it and feel what I want to feel. And what I what, what I say is that that's probably in violation of the traffic code and you're probably going to get a citation for it and you deserve it. Also, you need to register your vehicle. Lawfully and without the law. Because there's nothing saying that he can't do it. He fall under that. He has a license and all that, so he falls under that. But what I'm trying to tell him, he knows all this. He knows, so that's why I'm telling you, bro, don't even play him like that. Don't give him a ticket with a whole bucket, or don't give him a ticket at all. We, we, we're we coming from work. You act like it's some type of criminal activity going on, or, you know what I'm saying? Oh, it's hard. like, who cares? Like, he, he acts like you committed a traffic violation and, and responded accordingly. Herbs ain't fucking meth or something, go crack somebody's head open, or go do a lick or something, like, right. you know what I'm saying? Somebody. You know what I'm saying? It might enhance your thoughts, but it don't enhance you. So yeah, man, it's some I know bullshit. What you're saying, but it That's why I'm telling him at the end of the work. day, man, it is, there's no sign saying that he can't do that. So they need to get that addressed. They got to get that addressed immediately. Ah, well, there you have it. Just, just a good old fashioned, stupid traffic stop. Actually, this is a sovereign citizen traffic stop. This, this seems to be a recurring theme now. We just, it, it, it kicked off the first time I saw it was, uh, was the guy in Canada who claimed that uh, Canada has been dissolved, dissolved, and it's now the Republic of Canada. More recently, I had, uh, I had the video. It's called Republic of Michigan, where the guy claims that he was the Republic of Michigan. <laughs> And now we're into the Republic of, uh, of California. 
I don't know what he's got. He's got a kingdom and an empire going for Morocco, and the United States is operating on that land, apparently. <laughs> all, all this from a U.S. postal worker. Yeah, you know, every day he goes to work and collects a check. It's, it's from a quasi-government organization with United States in the title. Here at Law Talk, we like to have fun with uh, silly stuff that happens in court. And every once in a while, and completely by accident, I assure you, you might learn something. Thanks for watching.